we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Changeling the Lost 2nd Edition Little Brook Reunion. I'm Chris the Primogen, as your storyteller for the evening, and I am once again joined by my lovely players, and we will be playing with you tonight for a couple of hours, two hours, and I hope you're all safe and sound and happy with your loved ones watching us. And, uh, well, we certainly are. Before we uh, continue, before we get started with the uh, programming, I would like to first, of course, have everyone introduce themselves. Then Turing is going to do some announcements. I will do a recap, and then the game will be starting. So um, we will... <sighs> what order are we doing today? Let's go with um, age, working our way up. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. 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 We'll we'll go with uh, first letters of your characters' names, going from lowest to highest or earliest to latest. <laughs> it's the same thing every what? episode. <laughs> what? Keep one. <laughs> so I, I, Jonas would start, and then Lars, and so oh. on. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Adam, and I'm playing Jonas, uh, a darkling. Thank you. I'm the Touring, and I play Lars. He is a wizen. Thank you. Now, what comes after L? N. L-M-N. That's me. Yes. I know my alphabet. <laughs> uh, I'm Harry. I play Nate. He is Ferrist. Thank you. Um, Megan, uh, I play Nova, and she's a beast. Perfect. And then we got... I yeah. think uh, I'm that. So I'm Trev. I play Silas, who is an ogre. Uh, I, I, know, I think that you would probably be proved we did some drugs beforehand, but I don't know if I was past allowed to. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> you are. Yeah. And last but not least. No, it's always last. It's okay. <laughs> no, not always. We start from the top sometimes. It's okay. I like it that way. <laughs> Because then I have I can I can check what the others say so I don't like forget what I'm about supposed to. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm Kitsu. I play Tide. Tide is an elemental. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. So Torin, do you want to give some announcements before we continue? Yes. Um, there's 13 days to go on the Technocracy Reloaded Kickstarter. Uh, it is nearing $150,000 up of the $35,000 goal. So you guys are doing great. If you haven't already checked it out, I believe that there are links to it over there on the side. Um, click on those. Take a look at it. It is adding the technocracy, which is the uh, kind of the not really steampunk, but almost like cyber tech yeah. type stuff yeah, into sure. the mage world. Um, it's super cool. They can be considered the bad guys, but you know, it all looks at how you. It all depends on how you look. Yeah, potato, it. potato. You know. Yeah, but if it's uh, if it's anything like the 20th anniversary edition for the mage, it is going to be a an immense book, and it'll be well worth the money. So if you haven't backed that, go check it out. Um, next, we've got the oh, really wrong tab. <clears throat> um, just released this week to drive through RPG and Storyteller's Vault um, is Chronicles of Darkness Dark Eras 2, uh, available in PDF and hardcover. Um, basically, this is something that is compatible with all of the second edition um, Chronicles of Darkness um, games. Um, three games, or each chapter... Let me, let me just read it so I don't mess it up. Yeah, Each sure. chapter features two to three game lines, including Vampire the Requiem, Requiem, Mage of the Awakening, Hunt of the Vigil, Changeling the Lost, and more. So basically what these are is these are pre-generated, um, almost like one-shots, it sounds like, that are scattered throughout history, specifically designed for you to use to combine multiple game lines together so that you can have vampires playing with changeling or vampires cool. and mages or something like Delphid that crossovers yeah yeah it's, it's crossovers that are basically written and pre-generated by uh, onyx path 
Um, and really cool thing about this is you can either get the full book or they've actually broken it down and they're going to release each chapter as its own PDF. So if you're just looking for, you know, stuff specific to like the, the vampire, the Requiem, mm -hmm. you can go and you can buy just the chapters that include um, the stuff for that. So it's kind of cool that you don't have to buy the entire book if That's you don't awesome. want to. That's you know, awesome. If you're just looking for stuff for Changeling, you can get just the Changeling stuff. Um, and then also, I missed this last week, I believe, um, but they have also released uh, Death is Not the End, which is a Geist the Sin Eater second edition anthology. So that's like little snippets. So all cool. really cool things going on. Check those out. Those are on um, Drive Through RPG and the Storyteller's Vault. So go check them out. Perfect. Thank you. I think there's also a drive going on over at the Storyteller's Vault that if you buy uh, fan made content or fan submitted content, I think think a large part of the if not all of the revenue or the uh money being made or at least a larger portion of it is being given to the content creators actually so check that out as well because there's a That's whole great. bunch of, of excellent content there uh, i personally would never leave home without the guide to the Beckus jihad diary which has a collection of all the npcs in that book because it's it's this size um so awesome awesome stuff thank you very much Toring, for informing us about that so before we get started, I'll do a little bit of a uh, summary of what happened last time. Uh, a lot of stuff happened last time. You were invited to a dinner party, your typical dinner party, with a whole bunch of bugs. Essentially, it was um, some, some kind of peace conference or something similar to like that between a whole bunch of different nations that were all joining together to come into a new era of peace and enlightenment, which didn't really work out because uh one of the guests uh a, a bee a honeybee actually challenged the uh lord the um uh the uh vermilion no that's not the term sanguine baron. the sanguine baron good thing that i've got my notes here that i could have looked at instead of making a fool of myself challenged the sanguine baron to a duel which was par for the course of course except that there was a specific kind of weapon involved that uh, essentially killed the the duke very quickly um although his death was temporarily halted by jonas who retrieved the small shard of the item that was left handed it over to nate who finished the job so who actually killed the duke we don't really know that yet although um the uh the honeybee whose name is let me get it here her name is El eliza portholm uh, survived she was supposed to have died but she was also rescued by you as well because silas took her uh mortal wounds into his own mighty body but that's a little bit further ahead in the story because chaos essentially erupted once the uh, the sanguine duke started disintegrating and the castle itself began to crumble uh you defended yourselves against assailants you uh convinced as many of the changeling servants as you could to escape with you you left the keep you even retrieved the horse that you had borrowed from the uh from your friendly uh king of the goblins over on the other side of the ocean and you made your way down to the uh, sanguine duke's personal ship where you which you commandeered and headed off as the castle slowly stopped collapsing upon itself turns out that uh, with uh, eliza surviving possibly the title of sanguine duke was transmitted to her again perhaps and she claimed then that she had become one of the fair folk and that she now owed you a life boon before departing back to the keep that's, of course, a very brief summary of what happened. Personally, I felt that it was a lifetime you spent there in, in those uh, sanguine halls before you managed to make your way out of there. You've certainly paid off your debt to um, Skrimner now, and he's promised you to bring you home Lickety Split. And you're just about to pull into port over at Skrimner's giant long hall. And I think that's where we're going to start the session. Let's play a storytelling game of beautiful madness.
the ship. Oh, sorry. So Silas looks at the wounds on his forearm and over his body generally, and then considers the rest of the party. Some of us look pretty badly beaten up. Hmm. Do you have any idea how we're going to heal ourselves? I don't think we could take another disaster like that. I have no way to speed the process along, I don't believe. Didn't we... Weren't there those goblin fruit that would heal people? They yeah. would mostly, I say, looking down to my forearm. How are you going to get them here? I have no idea. Well, we can always make a trip to the hedge when we get back. <clears throat> mm. We know where the we know where there's doorways now, or passageways, or arches, or whatever. Hmm. It would also be a way to get back to town quickly. I don't even know where we are right now. We're returning to Scribner so that he can send us home. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Once we get back to Little Brook, we can look at... Well, we'll have to see how much of the... Uh, Goblin market survived the uh, the fire, and Lars will look pointedly at Flicker. There is some knocking in the background from someone. I think I'm not sure which one that might be from. I'm out of game, sorry. Someone's having a guest, maybe. Um, but yeah, so you were looking at who? Lars? Flicker. Flicker. She looks, um, she's looking out of the water and she's kind of actually lighting the very last of her pine cones and kind of tossing them in the water and looking at them sizzle out. What? Huh? What? what? Nothing. All right. So she kind of peels off the little bits of wood from the railing and tosses them out. Oh, you know. How 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 bad does Silas look? How bad, badly hurt does it does it seem? How many wounds did you take, Silas? Uh, I, I took four four lethal damage out of like ten. Mm. Because, so you're, uh, I mean, you're I, you're okay, sort of, yeah. but you're definitely thought, you're definitely cut up. Yeah. Mm. I thought Nate was more hurt last time. I have one health. Yeah, that's why I could cast oh again. Uh, I could spend more glamour and heal you up if we have no other way of healing. Because a stiff breeze could end up killing you now. Yeah. That's a lot. Like how he got stabbed by a lance, didn't he? That's correct. Yeah. Is that like gushing blood? Like what's going on? Because he's made of crystal. No, wait, yeah. We stopped the bleeding, yeah? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'd certainly hope so. I think part of Silas's taking on your wounds dealt with that, didn't it? I took on the wounds of the girl we saved, the one who killed the dude. Oh, yeah, right. not mates. I could do it again. Did anyone get a strip of the thing that attacked you, Nate? If we did that, I could do this much more easily. I, I, um, I can take some of the wounds as well, but it will, yeah, come. I learned how to do that before, but it at my yeah my mental I'll I'll take damage up here instead. Mm. Yeah. That sounds something we should save as a last resort then. Yeah, I thought so as well. I don't I can only like soothe things. I don't 
I'm not much of a healer. All right, then. Come on, Nate. I'll try to heal, help you out a little bit. Okay. Silas looks down to his other forearm, takes a finger, and slowly starts peeling back flesh, waiting for the blood to come out and start healing Nate's injury. Okay. How many? I slowly uh, watch. I slowly watch the blood and try to see how much healing you're going to need. So, uh, how many hit points do you have usually, Nate? I believe six. Six. And you are at one now. So yes. In the rest of the world's five, but that would be very, very bad for you, Silas. Do you take half of the damage, or do you take all the damage? Sometimes? No, no, I take uh, one health level of damage for every three. But I think the normal way the spell goes is you take one damage to heal level of damage. But mm -hmm. ogres, the thing is that magic, that damage can't be healed. Not by goblin fruits, not by magic, mm -hmm. not by not even by someone else using the same. This is the effect. shared burden. Yes, the, you heal three points of damage per point of lethal damage inflicted. How about we just wait until we get there and, and see what happens? Because if we have no way of healing this, then we might not be able to. That being said, you know. Nate is in a very, very bad state right now. It's barely oh, standing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think Tide would be like, no, nah, you're fine. You can wait. sit there. Sorry, you. you, you I'd love to wait. Sorry. What? Try again. Try again. Your your voice is cutting. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, is my connection unstable. So, yeah, I I tell Ty that I'd love to wait a little while, but we're trying to get back to Scrimner now, and if anything happens in the meantime, Nate's a goner. So, better I take the injuries if we have no other way of healing damage. We might want yeah. to look at something that's. A little less pain that's a little less painful because I can only take so much damage myself to do this. Uh, that said, I'm going to give up two levels, uh, two more damage, mm. to heal Nate back up to full. Yeah, so Nate, you um, you feel the glamour kind of entwining you, uh, circling through you, and you feel it kind of enter the uh, puncture wound, uh, that went through your through your body and your flesh starts knitting itself together veins kind of sneak out and connect again uh, nerve tissue reconnects and you it kind of stings for a second before it resettles and silas of course is manifesting wounds quite similar in a way to to what you had so you f bleed silas momentarily on your body as your flesh absorbs some of the damage but you are of course, an ogre capable of enduring much more than this. You are now down at four uh, health levels left, and Nate, you are up mm -hmm. at maximum. Oof, that felt good. I can move my arm again. Thanks for that, Silas. Not a problem, Nate. I mean, I'm just glad you survived it. That hit, hit had gone a bit a little harder, not even I could have brought you back from yeah. Seriously, though, thanks. Understood. You, you get a hug. Okay. I give hug back. Today's been a day. I didn't know it was that bad, if it makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how you missed it, but... <laughs> no, I mean, it's... I'm not really good at medicine, okay? I skipped some biology lessons. But that being said, like, I don't, it's hard to, um, it's hard to see wounds on you. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, it does make sense. How do we stop this from, like, happening again do we get you some armor or something 
I have no idea. I could probably make something like that. That might be useful. We'll have to see what's available when we get back to town. Yeah. Did I hear you say something about a meteorite, Silas? Yeah, I did. Uh, back when I was a child, my friend Joan and I went playing in the forest and we found something that wasn't in this world. I know where it landed. There might still be pieces of it out there. So we have a choice. We can try to track down the people. Uh, the thing is, a teacher at my school took a piece of the meteor, science teacher. But he's certainly long dead by now. So I have no idea who he could have given it to. We'd have to search. Or we could go back to the site and see if there are any pieces someone left behind. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's one of the few things in the world that can do damage to the... You know so who, it's yeah. It's almost like a face if he could catch us himself, glancing over the side nervously against our enemies. At least we know Lars can make it into a weapon. Maybe an arrowhead, maybe a dagger if we have to. Either way, it's... Something's not going to be easy to find. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see how much is how much there is. But I think we've got a pretty good start to a plan when we get back to town. Um, maybe we can split up. I can start working on some armor for Nate and Tide and. Maybe even you, Silas, and Nova, if you want some. I could try and figure something out for you, too. Would it look cool? Armor for me sounds great. Um, I can make it look very cool, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, then I'm down for it. Okay. And then maybe you, some of you guys, some of you others can go look for the meteorite stuff or meteor stuff, whatever you want to call it. Sounds okay. good to me. But first, let's see if this uh, Scribner's got more for us. You uh, are about to dock. The sailors are tossing out the ropes to people standing down at the at the dock side to kind of strap the the uh, the cruiser, as I guess you could call it, to the to the. Uh... Surprisingly, there is a dock here, which. You don't even recall seeing when you left. It was just a beach with the, this little rowing boat on it, um, and you see Scrimner actually standing on the on the docks, and he's 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 kind of laughing a little bit to himself and waving you down. Um, but you do notice that there is quite a commotion in the group of changelings that you saved, and it seems that um, it seems that a lot of the maids, as well as some of the manservants, and one or two of the guards. Uh, are having a uh, are on one side, and then the the worm, as well as a couple of other soldiers, guards, and uh, and man servants are are on the other one, and they're arguing heatedly. One of the uh, maid women, the one with the many eyes all blinking out of in disunion or <laughs> um, at different times. Out of sync. Yeah, out of sync. Yeah, uh, there she's kind of sort of representing the group behind her, and she's. She's kind of puffing her up against this uh, big worm man who's, who's like, We are going back to serve our mistress, just as we have always done. And she's like, we're not going back. We were freed now. We're allowed to be our own people for once. So there's this, this, com this f argument going on right now. Wait, quick question. How does this whole thing... I'm going to be saying this to Scribner. And he's, to not, the... he's not with oh, you right he's now. Not. Okay. No. I'm going to be asking... Then I'll say this to the worm. So, quick question: How does succession among the you know who? How does succession work? It works differently for everyone. The lady okay. has the lady has declared herself the new uh, duke. We shall serve her. All right. 
But if succession is done via who killed the last duke, then that would be me. Well, I suppose you would have to take that up with the lady. Yeah, well, I suppose we do. I'll just say that if anybody doesn't want to wait for me to take up the lady, to take that up with the lady, everyone else free to go. There's a like a murmur of of noises and you hear someone whisper it's dry I saw him take I, he delivered the final blow are you sure that counts and um I would say out of the 20 odd that you got with you I think that was as many as you got at least 10 no 12 14 of them seem inclined to leave the remainder looking the minority looking like they're fully intent on on heading back to the keep I, I I go to the worm guy mm -hmm. uh, and ask him, what 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 is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Archibald. Archibald? Has it always been your name? Uh, I'm sorry. What what is that supposed to mean? Were you called something else before you got here? Uh, I've always been here. I think. No, no, you haven't always been here. You've been somewhere else. Uh, and what are you by... insinuating? I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just wondering what you're, you were called before you were called Archibald. The strange question you're asking. You're a bunch of troublemakers. Yeah, Everything was yeah, working fine you... until you came here. Mm. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, we got that. I'm not very sorry about it, though. But but Archibald, what what what? Where, where did you grow up? What, what, what was it called? I don't, I don't have time for these questions. I'm going back to the keep. He seems a little bit unsure about about your your questioning. I don't know. Did, did you always... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to call it. But this accent... Have you always had this accent? Or was it since you got here? He um, kind of looks to the others and goes... I. Don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what you're in. Really now, this line of thinking is entirely out of place. I am a servant of the Vermilion Duke. Is it the Vermilion Duke? The Sanguine? Regardless, I am a servant of the Duchess, and her words are my command, I think. Yeah. No, I think. I think I think we we're going to like a good friend screaming here, screaming here, and a lot has happened today. Yet for you, for me, uh, for all of us, and maybe you should just like he got good beer. Don't challenge him to any competitions for now, and then just have a think of what's what's yeah. going on here. It's a lot of happened, and you got to clear your mind before you make any big decisions. One of the guards kind of poke at Archibald, sighing, goes, Archibald, he has a point. The, the lady hasn't asked for our presence. We could just stay here and she should call for... Preposterous. He, he turns to look at... And, and you can see that you swayed almost everyone, possibly even Archibald, but he's putting up this, this resistance or front, perhaps. And... Um, oh, we got a cat running past. <laughs> um, and then he finally goes, well... Else, and once the lady requests our presence, then things will be different. But until then, I suppose we should stay here. Perhaps she wishes for us to remain. Who knows? And um, you can tell that he's he's not happy about it. But he's he's decided that, that for for now he will he will remain here with Scrimner. Mm. Glad to have met you, Archibald. Um, Likewise, I suppose. And kind of Jonas. Goes, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, Jonas like feels that the conversation has has ended, and uh, he if he if Archibald doesn't seem to like if he seems like be lost in his thoughts or something, Jonas is just gonna let him be and and back off and uh, look look ashore instead. Mm. You uh, can actually, uh, you can see how um, the the maid is kind of working up the courage to to approach you, and finally she kind of walks up to uh, 
to I think it was who was it that said that you were from uh, Lillbrook? Was it Nate? Um, yeah, of course it was Nate. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, of course it was <laughs> Nate. <laughs> uh, she kind of kind of walks up to you and said, "Is it far away, this Lillbrook where you're from?" Yeah, but we got a deal to get us there safely. Do you think we'd be able to go with you? Absolutely. She 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 kind of smiles and and uh, and looks at the others. Uh, all of us, those of us who want to come, of course, we'll work. We'll yeah. work for a living. We we can sweep. We can clean floors. Every last one. Laundry. It's okay. I, we can do laundry. We can make food. Hey 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 hey! You're free now. Don't worry. You can come with us. She 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 blinks multiple times and and kind of looks at the others. Are you sure? I mean, I'm 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 okay with 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 cleaning the floors. It's it's okay. I'm sure. You can do whatever you want. The the reaction from the servants uh, is pretty pretty mixed. Some of them look horrified, shocked that they are no longer seem to have a purpose. Uh, a few of them actually break down crying. Uh, some of them are. Are just sitting staring out into nothingness just like kind of trying to process what's going on and a, a few a, quite a few of them are actually laughing nervously hugging each other um some of the, some are even like they, they they take their bonnets and just toss them over the edge of the boat and and, and laugh and smiles like the word free is repeated through the crowd multiple times as they're trying to process this sudden change in in their in their lives hell yeah uh. Tide, are you? Tide has like this hesitant look on their face, like I can't. We can't be quiet about what's going to happen to Little Brook, though. We should tell them. Of course. Because I would want to be told. It's not right to keep quiet, and it's not right to bring them to something that's that could be so bad. Yeah. That's... Well, if we get them back to the real world, they can go wherever they want. That's true. Maybe they don't just like, have to be there. Just like we started to remember things once we were free, maybe they'll remember where they're from and they can make their way there. That's true. I like that. We should let them know now, though. That there's danger there? Yeah. And if they come, they'll be expected to help and fight and defend it? Not expected, but you would appreciate it. Well, if they're going to stay in Littlebrook, they're going to want well, to. Well, that, that's mandatory, yeah, because anybody yeah. who stays in Littlebrook is in immense danger. Should we wait telling them until we get to Scrivener so we don't... Yeah, them? let's not scare people off just yet. Yeah. Great. That way, they might even decide to serve Scrivener if they really want to. But... Given who they are, given who we are, there's danger everywhere in this world. We can't possibly keep them safe from all of it, but we can give them a choice. That's true. I agree with that. My friends, uh, Screamer shouts from down the deck, I see you have returned from the dinner. And um, hale and healthy, more or less. Uh, my uh, my scouts tell me the keep started collapsing. Is that uh, anything you're familiar with? Is it your doing? Depends if that's a good or a bad thing in your view. They were bad neighbors. I don't really care. Yeah, then we did that. And <clears throat> I, to be to be specific, I did that. I killed him. Good good work. Uh, what was your name again? Phil. Yeah, Phil. Bill. Bill. Yes, of course. Good work, Phil. 
So, link at the split was what we agreed on, yes? Are we bringing yes. your friends as well? He kind of looks at the, at the crowd. I suppose so. If they wish to join us, we should warn them of what they're getting into, though. Right, Nate? Of course. Um, everybody, listen up. Got a little something to warn you about. In Littlebrook, we've attracted the ire of one of the fair folk. And staying in Littlebrook, uh, once you come there, is it will mean you'll have to fight. Of course, you're, once we get there, you're welcome to leave. But we would appreciate your help. There's kind of a, a murmur going through you, the crowd. Sorry. You have to decide now whether you want to come with us, but whether you want to help, you can decide once you, once you get there. That seems to actually calm quite a few of them down. Um, if you wish to stay in the town that we're returning to, there will be the potential for danger and we would appreciate your assistance in defending the town. But if once we get there, you wish to return to your original homes, you are more than welcome to. To see how the, um, how the maid, uh, who's, uh, she's also thrown away her bonnet. She has her hair kind of tied up or uh, kind of blonde, kind of ash blonde hair tied up in a braid. She goes, I'll fight. And then immediately after all of them just yeah we'll we'll fight we'll fight with you we'll fight hell yeah let's do this and uh screaming goes all right then so um everyone going then and you see how archibald is kind of kind of looking at the others like no we're supposed to we're supposed to stay here and and, and everyone but him kind of just joins behind the maid and he looks around and goes you all, you all traitors! You, you traitors to the name! Uh, and with that not working, he finally just kind of slowly sidles up next to them as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, you don't. We're not forcing you. And you're in Little. Brook. I think he knows that <laughs> you're in Little Brook. Oh, the fuck! We okay. didn't even get to say thank you. And uh, you're standing actually in the middle of the field right next to the hole in the ground everybody watch the hole don't fall in some of them were precariously close to the edge but they just kind of back away from it and they've changed quite as much as you did before they look more human now obviously uh even the worm despite still looking kind of like a worm because it Let's be honest, it's always going to look that way. Everyone has human shapes, sort of. Um, and you you see there is a wide, ver wide variety of, of creeds and then age, uh, gender. They're all uh, different people taken from different places. And and they're, they're looking around. Some of them are actually like shivering because it's cold. Um, it's in the middle of, it's in the evening. The sun is just about to go down. Uh, and they're like, is this Littlebrook? This is close. Just a bit of a walk. Not far. All right. Okay. Okay. We can walk. And uh, you see... Is any, yeah, sorry. Are any of them, like, injured, struggling to walk? Um, one of the guards actually has his arm in a sling, but he seems to be okay with walking um Lars would offer his jacket to somebody that's shivering cold doesn't bother him much anymore <laughs> is, is that a frozen reference it is if you want it to be your court reference <laughs> god damn it but um most of them seem uh, seem fine with walking. However, you see Archibald, who is he's kind of he has 
he, you could say that he still has a bit of a lack of features, like his jaw is non-existing. He has no um, uh, jaw bones. No, um, what are these called? Cheekbones. Cheekbones. Thank you. He has no cheekbones to speak of. He's kind of like just like a big thumb, essentially. And um, he looks oh boy. he looks offended at the idea of walking. He's like. This is really not what you promised. This is just, I, I want to go back. The others are just giving him a look like, no, <laughs> no you're not going back. Archie, oh. you don't have to keep this charade up. It's okay. You're free to go wherever you want. You don't have to stay here if you don't like it. Well, maybe I will. I mean, he, he seems to struggle a little bit as he's talking this. All right, take us to to Little Brook. To, to, to Little Brook, then. All right. This way, people. I'll start walking back into town. Yeah. It's a 10, 15-minute car ride to get here, by the way. Mm-hmm. So this so is... It's, um, it's a hike. It's a hike. It's about an hour or two hours, maybe? More? So... And, uh... So he didn't oh, yeah, really take his back to Little Brook then, did he? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> I mean, um, it kind of is Little Brook. It's the closest town. <laughs> should we call someone? Call? There is one vehicle parked, um, actually. And you didn't drive it here, Lars. But it seems to have made its way here on its own. Just gonna say, <laughs> the lights actually turn on as you get closer to it. Oh, hey there, buddy. Lars, you want to shadow these people to, to the library or something? Absolutely, yeah, I would be more than happy to do that. That's maybe we can discern who is from uh, this time and uh, further back as well. There's, there's a, a general kind of energy going through this group like people seem to be taking turns and crying and laughing and, and, and sobbing into each other's arms it's they almost don't seem to be paying attention to you it's some of them are are, are, are like shaking uh one of the guards or the former guards actually just starts hitting a tree and just doesn't stop until his knuckles are bloody and then it, then he just starts crying and drops to his knees um and all of them are, are just, you, you see yourselves in these reactions. You see how you were just, it's just a couple of weeks ago that you got out of, out of the hedge. These... Maybe let's give them some time. I know it's cold, but, oh, hey, flicker, huh? let's make a fire. Now you're let's talking my a... language. Let's make, wait, wait, campfire. Huh? Can 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 you just put off some heat? No open flames, just you warm up. She kind of. Have you ever done that before? I can try, she says, and uh, she sort of tries. To, she, she squints her eyes closed, but not a lot is happening really. Uh, she gets a little bit of orange, but she's not really emitting that much heat. I gotta get pissed off. It doesn't work if I'm not angry. Hey, Flicker, you suck. You suck. No, listen. I remember. Remember, you were all gonna get hit, and then I put like like that was me. Like you didn't save me. I saved you, and he hasn't even said thank you yet. He didn't save me. I saved everyone. Oh, I I saved your ass. <laughs> no, you. Like she starts. Mar she's slowly <laughs> backs away. Yeah, she's she's bright orange at this point like doesn't take much to 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 trigger that and yeah she, she's essentially a huge campfire on her own like the, the grass around her feet kind of just starts smoldering and turning black well that worked. Done my job <laughs> yes you did I'll, I'll keep an eye but never once like having this cathartic reactions how is archibald reacting he's um He's kind of standing by himself with his arms crossed, but he's not doing much. Like you can tell that he's also obviously 
trying to cope with this, but he's not letting loose quite as much as the other ones are. I'm I'm just gonna go up to him and just just stand beside him, basically observing, not 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 saying anything for for now, but uh, yeah, just just being there more or less. He's uh, he's shooting you some glasses, but doesn't seem to be very much in a in a talking mood right now. You can see that there's definitely something going on in there. He's uh, he's kind of hugging himself and uh, occasionally kicking the dirt just a little bit, almost as if he's trying to see if it's real. And um, the the very fancy clothes that he used to wear uh, are now just rags. You can't tell how old they are. They they seem almost on the verge of, of breaking into to dust around him. Let's let's get moving, people. It's cold out here. I don't want anybody getting hypothermia. Every, everyone just moves along. I will miss in the background. Uh, people get into the shuttle. Is there any system you're using to ship them, or just get as many as possible inside? Um, yeah, basically the ones that are calming down and done with the, you know, that as they kind of come around to normalcy and calm down and start to think I'll offer them a seat in the vehicle. Noble will push a couple people in. Come on, come on. Yeah, the they, they, some, of, some of the people being pushed in are perhaps not quite done dealing no, with you're, that. You're done. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You can finish in there. You can finish in the van. Um, I've cried in the van a lot. <laughs> so you, um, you, how many people do you get in? Like just fill it to the brim or with all people in the seats or uh well, clown I can, car this i can fit nine including me so safely with seat belts yeah, yeah fit and fit are two different things <laughs> well i can safely uh, there's seating for nine in plus me so right so that's what you're aiming for nova what are you aiming for yes. clown car okay uh well yeah so there's no, laps no, 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 and then there's floor no, and then there's no, stuff no, no, under no, no, the no, no, seat no. they're different shapes and sizes like me Ow. I, okay Ow. she puts in like so like 11 or 12. my car <laughs> my rules okay then you tell them to leave and <laughs> nova just like walk away wait here <laughs> They just well, so kind of escort two of them out. Say, just I'll be right back. This won't take long at all. He's Sorry, grumpy. Guys. Yeah. So, so the, the, the she's one's hacking being... your background. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. she she has an issue with his background. <laughs> she hates it. Um, <laughs> the two being led out are just kind of glass eyed. They're 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 like uh, sheep. You can lead them anywhere. They're just like completely out of it and uh so you drive off with uh with eight people uh lars into the night and the rest are kind of huddled around uh flicker who is uh occasionally kind of fading but with a few sharp words from from nova yeah. and she <laughs> she's back at it and like glowing like a like um piece of oak that's been put over fire um what is Silas doing during all this time? I'm just staying relatively quiet, watching people. I don't exactly have a gift of gab, although I sympathize with Archibald especially. I look the same way coming away from the people I used to serve. But I have no idea how to make it better beyond what I've actually said. And at this point, I'm following along with the group thinking even privately that yeah we've told them where they are and they've all come to it hopefully they can help hopefully they can do more than just be sacrifices to whatever battle we're about to join hmm. all right thank you and um tide nate 
I'm keeping people calm, trying to keep the procession going. Making sure anybody who needs attention, medical help, gets it. Mm -hmm. Tide, what are you doing? I is sort of quiet, like just hoovering in the background a little bit. Um, they throw a, like a glance back at Archibald, but generally tend to like be lost in their own thoughts. So it's like, it, it's more of a feeling of perhaps coming to terms with things, that, with everything that just happened. And uh, like thinking back of what it meant and perhaps like, not perhaps, but <laughs> I can say it. <laughs> um, I think the situation here is a bit of a reminder, like you said, for what happened and the way they were introduced and how their um, start in Littlebrook again was pretty intense and a fight and there was a dragon <laughs> and you know it didn't go quite like this and there was no time to process their feelings in any way like what it meant so seeing other people react to this extent feels almost odd and like a way of reconnecting with humanity almost so there's this sort of tentative empathy with everything that's going around i think that's but mostly if you're not in tide's head they look a little lost <laughs> hmm. lars you uh arrive to little brook it's i was kind of glances oh, sorry, at sorry. Tide, seeing her expression there. looking like she's not with, with the group but he gets her like at the, least they, they. He, them sorry yeah no go on go on oh i thought you were asking me no it's it's them not not her them oh yeah sorry yeah oh sorry uh yeah so he understands them then and uh yeah, yeah there's a lot of emotion going on right now yeah. In the car. Yeah. Meanwhile, Lars, you are arriving to Lilbrook. It's late. The moon is out now. And you've had time to check your phone, I believe, and realize that quite some time has passed. Tomorrow, there's only seven days left. And okay. You uh, have also received quite a long series of texts from Matthew and from Ms. Blackbird. Um, just basically wondering where you guys are. And uh, do you reply so to Lars, any of them? Uh, Lars doesn't have the time or the desire to try to type out a message on his little flip phone. So he's just going to call uh, Matthew. All right driving in you're you're seeing the low broke sign safe as city in Min, uh, minnesota 17 years in a row and you call matthew and he picks up immediately he goes loss is that you where have you been um uh, we've been busy busy doing what or, i guess you could say recruiting are you at the library, or can you be at the library? Yes, shortly? yes, I'm at the library. Okay. Um, we, what do you mean? What do you mean recruiting? Um, how many of us did you say were in Littlebrook? Well, there's there was seven of us, but now there's only six. I'm only I assume you've heard what happened to to Inkwell. Uh, but yeah, so that number is going to increase by a lot. All right. That's, uh, that is, uh, we've got about 30 <clears throat> incoming. Now, 
30. You, you, 30 of us? Yeah. From where? We were, we were a little busy. All right, I will... I will... I suppose I will speak with Miss Blackbird then. I do believe we, there uh, should be, probably be some some sleeping bags in the school. Yeah, uh, that's why I figured I'd try and give you a little bit of a heads up. Um, I appreciate I'm bringing it. bringing the first group in now, and then we'll be ferrying the rest in because we were dropped off a, a, a ways out of town. All right. Uh, I will ask you to to explain all this later on but uh, certainly I, I will i will speak with miss blackbird we shall reconvene i will get everyone here who can meet uh, what 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 state are they in are they hurt are they uh are they um one's slightly injured but i think he's okay um and and one's just an asshole all right uh, well that's other than that the rest of them seem like they're um they're coping with the change back. Um, there may be some minor injuries due to that. And uh, as far as I understand, at least a few of them have agreed to help us with our upcoming problem. All right. Uh, thank you for telling me, Lars. I, we will have to discuss these matters further, but I really need to make sure that we have enough sleeping space for them. We will have to talk uh, later. I'm assuming you're going to go pick up the rest of them. Yes. All right. So drive them to the school. I believe we can use the uh, sports hall. Okay. All right. I'll be there in uh, probably 10 minutes, if that. All right. It's good to hear your voice again. You as well. And uh, he hangs up. Okay. So he will, Lars will drive to the school um, and help get them inside. Mm -hmm. Hand them over to Michael, introduce, or Matthew, introduce Matthew to them. Um, yeah, you have, uh, almost everyone is there. You have uh, Jim. You have uh, Madeline or Mrs. Blackbird. You have uh, Patty, Amanda. They're there to, to kind of greet them and, and take care of them and show them the way. And they're all, you can see that uh, Amanda is, is actually, um, she has a bandage around her head uh, with a dark spot here. But she seems to be doing okay. Um, she gives you a, a hug uh, as you arrive. And... Uh, it's really good to see you. We have there's so many things. How how's Nova? Is Nova okay? They're fine. All right. Uh, thank you. Um, okay. I'll, I I won't I won't hold you up anymore. Uh, she she hurries off to to help um, with a with a guy who's got his arm in a in a sling. Be back with uh, the rest shortly. All right. Obviously, everyone else is also very. They look relieved. Um, Matthew doesn't seem to be hurt, but you also notice that Jim is kind of walking rather stiffly as if he's got <clears throat> trouble moving around. Um, and uh, you head back. And uh, yeah, so we should be able to do this in what, four trips? Yeah. Yeah. Seems reasonable. No problem at all. Yeah. Once or everybody's. Less. Yeah, sorry. Or less. <laughs> we could do it in less. Of course. Of course, yes. Just one more time. Um, yeah. Once I've made sure everyone's, like, happy and healthy, waiting for the bus, um, I'm going to just check in on Tide. Mm. Is everything okay, Tide? You seem a bit spacey. <sighs> it's, a, it's just a lot. I don't... I keep thinking about how, you know, should, I was seeing, did you see the guy that like punched the tree and like, I, I don't, I kept thinking, I didn't react that way. You know, I often, I feel like I react wrong to things. 
because I didn't like I didn't feel that way. I just got angry at everything. And it's it feels weird. Like it feels like I I'm not you know, I either wasn't didn't feel that strong about being back or it, it's it's I, odd. That's yeah. what's I don't think there's any happen. wrong way to feel when something like this happens. I mean it's it's a lot for anybody, right? So it makes sense people would act differently. I don't think and they're, I don't think you're missing something because you don't punch a tree when, you know, you didn't punch a tree, but I don't know. It's also because of you, because like, before you were so hurt and i just you know i i i couldn't see it and it's like i should be worried i should be like i'm worried now <laughs> Tied, it's i okay. should have been worried before and it's like it's not no because it's like what if i we have so much happening soon and what if i react wrongly and most importantly i'm we talked about the stuff about going out with the bang and stuff like that. I don't think I'm okay with that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's... At the end of the day, Tide, as long as you do whatever you do best, you'll do it well, and this will turn out okay. However you feel about this whole situation, about you know, your obligations to us or to the group or, you know, or, or fighting in general. I, all of those feelings are justified. It's, this is a confusing time. It's a lot of shit happening. And honestly, I'm just, I'm glad you're here. It was like this weird expression and then you like tide goes to kiss you now <laughs> because that's very sweet okay <laughs> it's just what you do when there's an awkward silence <laughs> yeah like, yeah natal kiss tide back i love Aww. it <laughs> hell yeah it's nice so as that is happening of course uh, archibald finally says something he says uh I was his closest servant, you know. This is betrayal. To Jonas. Jonas just let, waits a bit, see if there's something. Some sometimes people just don't want to tell tell me stuff in this situation. They want to tell themselves. So I'm just gonna let him wait until he seems like he has nothing left to want to say. But just those those two. I was, I was serving the Lord. I, I was serving the Duke. I should be serving the Duchess. Why am I? Why did you come? Why did you go to the dinner? Why? Who? Do you remember your name yet? Doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Because why, why is it you that betrayed, betrayed your your master? It seems like if you are anything like any of the rest of us here, you you were taken first, betrayed. I had a purpose. I, uh, he just forces himself to to talk like he used to, but it's just not coming out. Like, Oh, so it, it, his, his accent is not like his real accent. No, it seems to be shifting constantly between it. It's like he's trying to remember how he used to speak. Um, but his, his accent is much more Midwestern, you'd say. Uh, I, had a, I had a purpose. I, had a, I, I, I was someone. I was important. Hmm. He trusted me. Yeah. 
Now I'm no one. But... Yeah, but there was a there were a, there were there was a cap between how high you could rise in his favor. And now you're at the bottom again, and you are yeah. For now, right here, right now, you are no one. I find, found that quite liberating, actually, when it happened to me. Very inspiring. But now, yeah. uh, but now you could, uh, yeah, could be someone you wanted to be instead of someone he wanted to be. I guess. I let's okay. Let's say it like this. Let's be honest here. No, your your first instinct is to go back, right? You want to go back. If you could choose right now again, you would go back. Yes. Yeah, I know that as well. Um, I took a while for me to be sure if I wanted to stay here or or go back. Uh, Perhaps I'm not even done making that decision yet, but I don't you remember anything from your past here? Something? I, uh, I built a house. That's all I remember. Yeah. You remember where that house was. W wouldn't you like to find that house? See what happened to it? It was nothing compared to the castle of my lord. No, but it was something you built. It doesn't matter. You can, like, I, all I want is to give you is to able to make the decision fairly. Like, of course you miss the things you had now, but you do not remember what you had here at all. Just find your house, see what happened to it, and then you can make the choice again. You can see, you can, there's no one stopping you from going back if that's what you want, but don't do anything you would regret. If you go back, then the thought would know on you that maybe you should have stayed, maybe you should have found the house, see what happened to it. and. And if you find the house and you you don't like it, I will I will help you get back. Oh, I'll 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 think about it. Just give it time. Like there is there is always this this is all new. And when it's new, you don't really maybe act like the other ones. They they just all into it from the start. Just give it a, a week. Hmm. And then you see, we'll talk again. And we will talk during as well, if you please, I would like that. But just give it a chance. And then when your mind is clear, you can make a, a decision of with, with fresher eyes. Fine, I'll, I'll give it a week. But I'm telling you this here as well. There might be danger in this town coming up. So from one of from one of them, you said. Yeah. Or rather, one of you said. Like I don't I'm I'm not sure how everything's gonna go down, but since we're owned a boon by yeah, well I guess your mistress now. I guess she will make an appearance. And maybe then you can see for yourself again if that's something you want to go back to. And uh, he, he, he kind of smiles. Yeah, uh, yes, I, I suppose that's 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 a possibility. I can just mm. wait for her to come here. Yeah, I'm sure she will be happy to have my services. You remember? Do you remember coffee? That's not allowed. The Lord was very specific about that. There was an incident with a traveler at some point, I believe. Hmm. Do you remember it, though? Not relevant. I didn't need to remember it. I am guess I'm going to have a cup tomorrow. Well, I'm more or less here on your good will, so I, 
Whatever you wish for me to have, I will have. Yeah. Yeah. That's not gonna work. I don't I don't have any particular wishes for you. Well what do you what do you want? What do you what do you want to have to drink? I'm you think that I I'm getting the sense here that you're been switched from one master to another. Well, that is not what's going on here right now. You can decide if you want coffee or not. There is coffee for you here. If you want it, have some. If you don't, don't. Guess I'll see when I see it. That's the best way. Kind of kind of walks over to a tree and leans against it and I'd, I'd like to be alone. I'll let you. I'm Jonas, by the way. And then I'll go walk away. Right. Is anyone else doing anything in particular while you're waiting? Nope. 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 Just waiting for the bus. Yeah. So then um, you get ferried back and forth. Lars, you're getting quite familiar with the track now. You've been down here, I don't know how many times in the last couple of weeks. So it goes fast. Uh, by the time you arrive with the, with the third load of passengers, some of the first ones that you came here are actually helping uh, people off and showing them where the beds are. And uh, they've gotten clothes that are definitely something from the lost and found in the sports hall uh there's uh gym shorts tank tops odd paired shoes uh some of them are walking around in in shower slippers just whatever they could find really uh you think that one of them is wearing an is that yeah that is uh that is the um that Oh, you wouldn't know ACDC, of course not. So, someone has alternating current. Uh, what's the other one? <laughs> uh, direct current on their T-shirt. Seems strange, but <laughs> yeah, it is pretty strange. Yeah, and finally, the rest of you as well. All right, back to Lillebrook. It is, I would say, close to midnight at this point. Matthew How's and the rest. The day? Oh, sorry. Huh? Before? No, no, no. Um, well, Matthew and the rest are kind of waiting outside the gym hall as well, and they look, uh, they look concerned. And Nova, of course, you notice right away that uh, that Amanda has a, a bandage wrapped around her head and a dark spot of blood where her ear is, roughly. Oh, she'll just go right up. Like even if other people are having conversations, she's like, Amanda, what happened? Oh, uh, Nadia, uh, Nova, uh, hi, um, I, uh, we went to get the, the lead and uh, a bunch of stuff happened and I think, I think they managed to save some of it. I'm not sure. I can't really hear on this side, uh, but uh, Matthew said that they might be able to fix that. Uh, uh I don't know. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, did, did you get that? Did you get them too? I mean, I actually I came out of it pretty pretty good. I'm pretty lucky. Yeah. But, uh, you guys look a little beat up. Yeah, I mean, we were there for for weeks. Uh, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, but we, we got the lead. Little... We got the lead. Okay. okay we can cool. we can we can do we can do the contract again. Oh. Uh. So Nova looks a little like <laughs> like I don't want to. I don't, don't want to like, like we can do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got people. Okay. Uh, oh, you yeah. keep thinking positive, Amanda. I'm going to go over here for for no reason and, and think in a corner. I, I think I know some of these people. Oh, oh you yeah. do? Yeah, I met a few of them back when um, the one I was working for, she had a, this kind of Christmas party, and I, I met a few of them. They're really nice. Okay, that's cool, because we already brought them over, so if they were jerks, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, there, there was one guy. Uh, oh, no. Oh, is he kind of like a worm and also yeah, a jerk? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have some bad news. All right. Well, but, I mean, Jonas has been talking to him and like Jonas has got like a pretty calm nature. 
Like, I mean, he's super paranoid, but he's super calm. It's a really interesting combo. And uh, I think, like, he's been, like, working on this worm's brain. Okay. I'm well, going to, like, let that happen. He seemed like a real stick in the mud, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, not my problem. Not your problem either. Your ear's your problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, uh, it's going to... Uh, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine you should have seen me though like i was keeping four or five of them off matthew while he was getting the lead like, it was pretty amazing i'll be honest i got oh, you're I, bad I, I had a sword what yeah oh, i I've think you had a sword had, yeah. i ate an eyeball though really yeah yeah, yeah. an actual eyeball yeah gross. well like a half a one and then a whole one gross uh, i was fine i mean compared really? to the other there's a lot of gross stuff there like think... it wasn't moving Okay, you think, like, how did it taste? I mean, pretty much exactly how I thought an eyeball was going to taste. Oh. But now I know. That's cool, but also really gross. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and, and obviously, while you two have been having this conversation, Matthew and Mrs. Blackbird are just, like, hugging you and, and kind of, like, hovering around you and being a little bit concerned. If you welcome a hug, if you accept a hug, of course. If not, they'll keep their distance. Matthew seems exceptionally shook up. He's he's, uh, he's actually trembling a little bit as he's talking to you. Apologies for that. God, I think I need to. There we go. Um, and uh, Matthew goes, all right, so we've retrieved all the the uh, components now. I believe we should be able to conduct the contract at any time, so we can even do it tonight if you if you feel, if you feel we should. Maybe we should. A lot have happened, and I don't know if things have changed or not. But I, I and I don't want to speak for the rest of us here, but I think we would like to speak in the morning instead of, of course i mean it's, it's seven days left until the new moon so so we still have some time left i suppose well, you guys i've turned to the rest of, of the group you guys you guys share my my view on this talk talk in the morning yeah that sounds good i have a ghost to get home too yeah. Yeah. He's probably worried about me. Sure it is. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's right. Cause you... Wait. You told us about the ghost, right? Uh, yeah, it's just regular ghost stuff. You guys don't even have to worry about it. Regular you're not in trouble. Stuff. Okay. Yeah, just regular. I mean, I think at least 50% of all cafes are probably haunted. I think your really? numbers might be a bit off, but yeah, prove sure. me wrong. I thought so. Anyway, I, oh I'm, hey, I'm... also I've got some flannels back there. If people need some more shirts, I wore them when it got real cold. It's would some it guys. Fit? Would it fit me? Uh, I don't know. The guys said, like I was able to wear like three or four of them, and they all kind of fit on top of each other. So probably they might be a little short, uh, um... but they weren't made for me either. So hey. Uh, that's two two questions. One, do we still have our fancy clothes from the party, or are we back to our <laughs> normal clothes? You're back to your normal clothes. Okay. Those are those oh, are. They rentals. were so delicious. <laughs> they were rentals. <laughs> I was halfway through a jacket. <laughs> Secondly, I think I took the his sword. You did the Duke's sword. You did. And I guess I still have it. Yes. Well, you would have probably <laughs> noticed early on. It's not yeah. actually a sword, though. Oh. It's a fish hook. Okay. You know, the one with the handle with a long hook that's coming out. It's, uh, it's kind of rusty. But it's still okay. there. You have it. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, okay, so... Nova goes take care of of her ghost, and we'll we'll meet up in the morning. Where, when? You'll be at the library, right? 
It's just yeah. easier for me to go there than for y'all to yeah. come over. Or Lars, could you come and pick us up and we can go to to Madeline's yeah. place? And I can pick everybody up and take them to the school in the morning, no problem. Perfect. Right, All right. Is is Wenceslas okay? Oh, I look at the 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 others. Yes, he's he's still recovering, but he seemed to be doing better. Yes. Okay. He's not in any state to conduct a ritual, of course, but I wouldn't ask that of him. Not not again. So. Was it gonna be? Do you have a plan, or is that something we should work out in the morning? Matthew kind of looks around and then just, well, I might as well say it right now. I believe the big mistake that we made last time was that we actually did not sacrifice any real lives. So this time I have decided to, to, uh, to, to sacrifice myself. I believe it's already, I've outlived my welcome, so to speak. And, it was my fault that it failed last time, and I don't want it to fail again. That is the dumbest thing I've I've heard today, and it's been quite a day. <laughs> I, I vote you the asshole. You can take offense if you want, but that's the dumbest thing. You're the one guy that knows the most out of all of us, and you're gonna go. I couldn't. We don't stand a chance without you. What? Good luck. Uh, uh, who else would I, I can't just choose someone else to have them sacrifice themselves it's it's death who? we're gonna who? talk about this in the morning but off the top of my head hell no oh, all right well you, you not over my body all right well you make quite an so... argument so I suppose we'll, we'll simply have to discuss it again then but inevitably one of us will have to die for it We'll see if that's the case. All right, well... We'll see. Anyway, sleep well. Of course, and uh, it is good to see you all again. I'm, I'm happy you made it back. And honestly, all these people, you've... I'm, I'm, I'm quite, quite surprised and, and very happy that you, you brought them here. Now I kind of feel bad for yelling at you. Don't. I'm, 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 I deserve much more than that, I assure you. Really? Well, what did you, you do? <laughs> he looks a little bit worried. Well, I mean, just with everything you've learned, I can only assume, like, Madeline told me what she told you, and uh, honestly, I was expecting you huh. to, do, to do much worse. You don't have faith in us? No, I mean... I mean, that's fair. Wor we worse kind of... to me, not worse to perform, worse to punch me or something like that. Oh. No, because I was going to say we kind of didn't have faith in you guys after all of that came out. I, I, can, I can very much understand why that's how you would see things, yes. Right? I'm not saying things for you guys. This, that's true. Yes? I'll look at the others. Yeah. Flicker just shrugs. I don't have any faith in them. <laughs> Cheese flicker. What? Uh, I know the group in the past, Matthew, has been wondering what's going on and been more than suspicious of you. No one's wanted you dead. And Really? <laughs> have we wanted you dead? I haven't. Oh, but... uh, oh no. Oh, I thought you meant that you wanted me. To... All right. Sorry. I misunderstood. Yes. I mean, yeah, two of that. Look, I don't know. I maybe that's the reason the contract failed last time, or maybe it's something else. And she's ready for whatever. Ready if you try it again. So I'd be careful. Don't be too hasty to sacrifice yourself. We might need you. We might need everyone very soon. It's true. Um, she did promise she wouldn't 
come here for another seven days, so we still have some margin of time to, to act before she does. But um, we shall, we have decided to take turns in keeping watch over the, our new wards, so the rest of you, you should really head to your homes and, and rest, and uh, we shall perhaps see each other tomorrow. Matthew, if you have a way of uh, healing injuries, I could really use that right about. We have a small amount of uh, goblin fruit that we brought back with us. Uh, he um, he nods to to Jim, who actually has this very tiny backpack on his shoulders. He kind of turns around, and Matthew opens it up. It's one of those uh, that with a string, um, and he takes out a small uh, satchel, and it has four. They kind of look like gooseberries, but they are orange in hue rather than light green. Um, they should be able to help you. Yeah. Take as many as you want. We know where they grow, but they are it, it's, they're rare to find otherwise, so it will take some time for them to regrow, but you certainly look like you could use them. How Thank you, Matt. More. Patience or Sorry. going through the hedge, basically. Trying to find them there. They grow in the hedge, but they are rare. I consider the berries as Matthew Hansen to me and think, hmm. does anyone know? Can anyone hold on to these? I might I'm be able to do something. Yeah. I'm going to touch the berries and I'm going to spend two glamour. You cannot. I can't? No, you can't. Stop <gasps> goblins or goblin fruit? They're goblin fruit. Yeah. You can't, uh, I don't think you can duplicate. I think I can, let me see. Here, I'll pull up the rule book. I got it. Let's look at it. I um... Yeah. <laughs> that would be such an exploit. The, the, most, the most broken power in the entire game. I'm pretty game. sure I can either, it's either hobgoblins or goblin fruit. Oh, it should be, it's the same. Uh, but what is the calling? It? It's on page 147, probably. Everything is on 147. No. Discreet summons is the name of the thing. Right. Let me see. That should be early on, I believe. So, discreet summons. Summons an object or goblin to his service. The object have no special qualifiers, and nor, oh, okay. ava nor availability higher than three. And I'm assuming then that's goblin fruit or availability higher mm, or much higher i'm gonna much higher, i'm yeah. gonna find an availability chart because i don't think we've been playing with that rule yeah <laughs> yeah and we've been oh, complaining no. No, about no pants fruit it. we've been complaining about it for so long <laughs> where's availability um and we just didn't read all the rules <laughs> the heck is it under item oh boy but yes um oh, no. Silas, continue with your question. You were asking if anyone could hold on to them for you, right? Right. Like I can hold on to them, but but if, why why don't you want to hold on to them? I don't want all our healing items put into one place. I take one of the berries and try them. Uh, all right. Um, let me just Google availability. Particles of darkness. You try the berry. You, you eat the whole berry. It's about yeah. this size. And as soon as you uh, eat it, you feel uh, invigorated. Your wounds start mending slowly, but more so you feel alert, awake. You feel your energy replenish like you could run a marathon. And the edge of the pain is kind of numbed, so you you feel the pain, but it's more of a kind of an aching in the in, in the in the back uh, of your skull rather than, or under your flesh rather than something that's constantly nagging at you. Okay. Yeah. So. So it hurts, but not quite the same. Yeah, and one of them that will heal you one point of damage. Maybe. Maybe some of the changelings that we um, saved has a way of healing. Like, 
If you think about it, that has to be a medic in every court or something. That's an excellent point, Ty. I'll go ask and see if any of them can do that. Uh, most of them are currently asleep. Uh, there are some of them awake and, and talking. Um, wow. You can ask around if you want, or you can... I'm not, I'm not going to wake anyone up. Okay. So I hand the berries to Jonas, the three that are remaining, and walk uh, shuffle around the people that are awake, if anyone wants to talk, or if anyone knows anyone. I go from person to person and ask them if they do know someone with any medical training at all. There's, uh, there are some who are capable of wrapping wounds and uh, and things like that, but there is no one who can just heal you. And uh, as far as you know, you've never encountered anyone who can just remove a wound. It's more akin to what you have. Uh, Even wrapping to... wounds is fine. Just yeah. something to. The wounds that can be healed can at least some kind of healing, but yeah. the things that uh, the the deeper wounds I took and I took quite a few, they can't be magically healed. So I wouldn't even want that, even if they could. Have no, it. but they uh, some of the ones who are awake. Um, actually, Archibald is awake, and he he's pointed at by others that you ask, and he kind of gives you a look over and goes, "Well, I." certainly got some talent and and um, i i can i can help you and he he gives you a field triage i guess you could call it wrapping you up cleaning your wounds a little bit just just the basics um and uh it's enough to to um you weren't really bleeding that much but it's enough to kind of cover up your wounds so and, and clean them out so you won't get infections things like that And, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I heard that uh, heal that long term healing can downgrade damage from lethal to bashing. I think I think that's uh, I think that's possible, but um, for a roll, you mean? Yeah, a medicine roll can do that. It's, yeah. it's a section on healing wounds. Perfect healing. Uh, so. Da, 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 da. Medical care. Character can use the medicine skill to speed up healing. Extended and simple. Uh, yeah, but it has to be continuous to do that. Uh, emergency care requires total success is equal to total damage to the patient suffered. Successful treatment heals one point of bashing damage. Benefits of long term care. Successful treatment downgrades one point of aggravated damage to lethal or one point of lethal to bashing. Requires 10 total successes per aggravated wound, five per lethal. So that would be an extended amount of health care because you get to roll once uh, with one minute intervals, basically. Um, oh, no, long term is one roll per hour, intelligence medicine. So I don't think Archibald is in the mood for spending the rest of the night patching you up. Um, he seems kind of tired as well. But he can give you the, um, he can give you the short term wrapping things up a little bit. Okay. And that would be uh, emergency treatments. Um, but do you have any points of bashing damage at all? No, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's all uh, lethal wounds that we took as we. Yeah. Were yeah, so he makes one. I, I'll, I'll make one roll for him just because. Because if he gets 10 successes, that's one point of a lethal change to bashing so uh, that is a surprising two tens so ah, two successes he patches you up quite a bit but you would require a lot more uh, care to to heal these wounds or make them into bashing unfortunately well, it's all right i expected that would take a while anyways so yes. no surprise there Okay. So, uh, I, I walk up to Silas when I ask around like, and say, if if you need help, let, let me just know. I, I might need some days for myself then afterwards, but if if you feel that you're you would be lacking, um, I can help. Thank you, Jonas. Hopefully it won't come to that. We still have a week. Hmm. There's gonna be some way 
get healed up a bit in this town. Hmm. So let's hope so. So the berry healed one of your lethal at the moment. Yes. Yes. So you have four. Lethal? I have five uh, lethal. Five lethal. Yeah, That's quite a bit. Them. Yes. Yeah. Three of them keep So if, if you were to if you were to go untreated, you would recover one lethal after two days of in-game time. Right. But if you were treated, it would be one lethal turn to bashing for every ten successes, and whoever heals you gets to roll ones an hour for that. Um, so would still require quite some time. Okay. Everyone is going back to your homes, I suppose. Some of you uh, coming back to a familiar person showering, shouting from inside the bathroom, <clears throat> slipping on something and bashing their head against the edge of the toilet, perhaps. But you can tell, Nova, that there is... No, actually, not just tell that there's something, because... Right before you're about to fall asleep, when you're, you know, it's like a background noise now, the, the repetition. Uh, you hear, I'm glad you're safe. But then it's just uh, the uh, same. Uh, I'm, I'm way more tired than I thought I was. Wow, what a weird dream. Okay, okay. Just gonna Hello? roll back up. Hello, who's, ah! th who's there? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, good, good night. Yeah. Good, good, Hello. Good night. That's better. Oh, that's yeah, like white that's noise. Yeah. That's the best. That's the same. <laughs> uh, Some progress, at least. Maybe. Love that vibe of saying good night to your ghost. <laughs> Big mood. It's wholesome. Yeah. Ghosts have feelings too. Or ghosts of feelings, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was that was, not, that was not even a joke. It was an anti-joke. It just <laughs> removed some of the humor from the stream. Um. <laughs> Does anyone else do anything before they go to sleep? I just wanted a, a bit of a recap. It was it was a time ago since we did all the like figuring out what's going on. Mm -hmm. If because they made like they researched a contract to do the contract and that needed sacrifices and they sacrificed fetches. That's instead. correct. Right. They sacrificed a whole class of fetches. Yeah, a whole class of fetches. And then they also did, like, Miss Blackbird had made some kind of deal to make her pregnant, right? Certainly seems like it, yes. Yeah, and that that was um, about to be collected. Like, it was to be collected, but it wasn't collected because nothing happened for over a exactly. long time. Exactly. Yeah. 17 years passed, she didn't have a kid, and uh, you met up with essentially... The master of at least three of you no four of you mm -hmm. and she quite distinctly said give me the baby it is mine the child is no. mine that was and, a deal and... for her to leave you alone yeah exactly and and but but did we find out something like that she that that miss blackbird had made some kind of deal probably with the same entity to get the child in the first place or was that as our guesses that's your guess mm. i believe i don't think you mm. actually confronted miss blackbird about miss blackbird about that okay i don't remember that so so maybe that was just my guess then <laughs> it's certainly a qualified guess uh considering yeah. all the circumstantial evidence or uh, rather not circumstantial yeah. rather concrete evidence to, to hint at that uh but i don't think it's been verified uh, yeah, but I'm sure yeah. Pink Gazelle probably has a better track of that than I do. So <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm sure we will be yeah. reminded. Uh, but but so that's just a, a reminder for me then of what yeah. what we were yeah. what we were talking about. And and when we had our, our deep talk by the the uh, by the hole, we we basically said like, okay, we we don't want to do the contract, but then we couldn't really 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 agree on what to do instead. I believe like that's fighting correct. was the uh, most people's first option, but. Yeah, you have that. you have received several a, a multitude of different threads to follow. Like mm. you obviously mm. have the contract. You've been approached by servants of the uh, Arch of Midsummer. You mm. uh, have, of course, the life boon now from the mm. uh, new Duchess, potentially new du Duchess. Who knows? Uh, you, of course, uh, have. Uh, 
you have the forester, I uh, know the woodsman, sorry, the woodsman, who, uh, who might have some, you have many different things to pursue, essentially. Thank you. Then, then I'm up to speed, I think. Yes. So our first priority should probably be to get that meteor. That was another left of it. thing as well that Silas was bringing up. Which technically is something that is not from your world, from Scrivener's world, or from the world of the true Fae. Yeah. That's the idea. So who's with me to go dig up that meteor? It's morning. Go. It's morning. You're all in the car heading towards the school with Lars. And Nate just dropped that bomb. Um, I'm, I could probably help you go find it if you think that it's still left. But what what are we going to tell tell the others? Are we going to tell them that, no, don't do the contract. We want to... Yeah, we're going to tell them, no, don't do the contract. <clears throat> okay. We're not Why? sacrificing another one of us just so we can keep them out. Why? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Um, well, hmm. The contract would stop Glamour from coming through. Everything would be stagnant the same. It wouldn't be well, like we were living for anything. We don't, if we... we don't know that. The reason it... that the reason that they had issues with it previously is because they didn't fulfill it the way it should have been, right? Yeah, Maybe. but I think from what from what they said, that was the the idea was to freeze the seasons, to freeze everything, so that the time wouldn't come. So the freezing was actually what was intended. That sounds um, familiar, yes. And my memory is a bit wonky. I've been thinking about a lot of things. But I feel like this contract is not that good. And it's not a fix. We can sacrifice whoever we have now, but then some thought somewhere along the line, it can be broken. Just how like we broke it, you know? Someone's gonna mess up, something's gonna happen, someone's gonna walk into the room and unbind it, and then what? More sacrifices, more fixes? No, I think we should just take it up and like just face her down, kill her and change, like just, you know, just just fix it no what's, more bandages just fix it what's to stop the person that kills her from turning into her we saw that happen with eliza there was a succession there jonas do you know do you know if she had something like that no, I'm. I'm not sure I ever like got to meet the real her, so to speak. Well, I probably did, but the rules, the rules surrounding me, was the one that I tried to see through and break, and eventually did. I think, or maybe she let me. But the rules surrounding her, I. No, I didn't get any clue about how they worked or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Is could it be that the baby is somehow related to that? Because that's kind of a, like a rebirth situation, I guess. That's what I'm thinking, but I might be wrong. It could Maybe be just some... something that she wanted because exactly. she didn't have it before. You know, exactly. we were. Not babies when she took us. With with, as it seems like with with her and with all the, I, 
I don't think it always is something that we can just like comprehend like oh that's because of the great power or succession it's sometimes it feels like it's just something they wanted and they may want it she may want it with a burning passion for like another week and then she will forget about it and forget she even had the baby I don't know but that is an avenue I'm also trying to explore explore it doesn't have to be killed that was only one of the things that the Hob hobgoblin king told us yeah yeah it could make her forget or be such a big pain in the ass that we're not worth it which i think we could do pretty pretty good we're we're, we're, we're pretty big thorns um just make it not worth it because you know then she'll move on to something else we got to stop being so, you know, desirable. I don't get it. Like, what, what are you suggesting we do? What is it you think that she wants? Well, she, she wants, wants the, the baby. We could, there's so much other stuff out there that we can make trick her or make her forget or, oh, oh no, we lost the baby. Or it turns out no baby. Or it turns out uh, two babies and one of them's evil. I think we are forgetting here as well that she will take us if she doesn't get the baby. That's what she said. Oh, she might just take us anyway. I don't trust she anything might. she says, so. Yeah. Meh. I say meh to her. So again, we come back around to if Matthew is willing to make a sacrifice and lock her out. That's one sacrifice instead of six, or one sacrifice instead of the child. It won't work. Didn't work before, won't work now. Didn't work before because they used fetches, and that upset the seasons, and that's why the seasons stopped coming. Well, we'll screw it up in another way. It, this stuff's so tricky. You can't get it, ever get it perfect. That's, that's yeah. how it works. Nova's right. Remember with Scrimner, every time we did something, every time we thought we won, He'd change the rules on us or, well, not exactly change them. You know what I mean? There isn't a way to win here. Maybe we, I mean, a way to win by playing by their rules. I think we should get, get the media right. And then start with that. Maybe we can scare her. We, 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 we dig in and we're such a, such so hard to get anything out of that. She's like, ah, these guys. I'm down for that. Worth a shot. We can still. We can still. Can we wait? Well, you just have Matthew like off to the side, all ready to pull the trigger on some sort of stupid thing that'll never work, but it's there, and we can try our thing. And if it doesn't work, uh, you know, well, he could he could do the thing. And at least we tried. I feel better with that. I still really yeah. want to kill her. Well, I mean, maybe accidentally we do it and yay! I just don't think we should plan on it. That shouldn't be planned like that or nothing because yeah, I, I don't even know if that's possible. Do you have? But I've already been or... planning. I want the sword, the one that burned me, the the one, and I, I want to try to kill her with that. How's that sound? I like that plan. I would never try to stop you killing anybody, Tide, because I Thanks. believe in you. Thanks. Real friends let their friends kill other people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Words to live by. Yeah. <laughs> the living friends, yes. Do you, uh, are, is oh, Chris, you've with become you? deep voice. You've, oh, you've no. gone with the oh, voice. Oh, I have to get How did I fix that? Um, <laughs> also, this works. Uh, but. You said the F word. While oh. we're changing, did you bring hey. Flaker with you? <laughs> yeah, oh, why would we leave her behind? Flicker's part of the crew. Yeah. Because she starts my car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Flicker, you can walk. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're trying again. Is it, was it there working? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Tech happens. It's been acting up. I might need to change the USB port for it because it did the same thing when I was recording this morning. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's funny. All right. So Flicker's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Flicker just goes, yeah, we should kill her. We should kill her. Right. Oh, yeah, Flicker. I'm my I've, I've said this before but I'm, I'm 
my aim goal here is not like defeating her because I, I honestly don't think there is a defeating her. My aim goal here is try to get go back to try to live my normal life, live a, as normal life as possible. And I don't think attacking her will make that happen. And I don't think the contract will make that happen because it will make things stop and we will come back and, and all that. What even is normal anymore, though? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. But it's not going to be able, I'm not going to be able to do that if everything is on end and we're all dead or enslaved or something like that again. Yeah. But Th that's what I'm thinking. Just can we make a deal? We, we have basically made a deal with her and we know the deals. They, they can work. She, she is somewhat bound by them. And that's the only thing probably that can bind her or force her to make her not come back to us and i i know we know what you want and we can bargain with that nobody's that... gonna walk over to jonas and like literally start shaking him right, we're, never, about, 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 we're never making a deal with her <laughs> never we're not going back and we're not making a deal and no one's gonna have to go back stop it's, talking that way it's okay don't shake him oh yeah. Okay, then, I'll step back, but I'm going to keep yelling at him. Is that okay? We, we're in a car still, right? <laughs> okay, then I'll just turn back. <laughs> but... Shake his yeah. seat behind him. <laughs> kick, 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 kick. It's going to be... Then what... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> then what do you suggest, Nova? Well, no, no deals. No trying to figure stuff out. I think we get the media right, and we start connecting with everybody else we can. We talk to the nice bee lady, and we talk to um, the servants of that creepy guy who talked to us and we do everything possible never to make a deal but because the deals is where they're going to get us that's how they got us no the i think the deal is how we get out of this you're you're playing by that game their game right now like trying to oppose something that cannot really be opposed i'm gonna i want to put everything i want chaos yeah and it's not it's not gonna work I, I, no, Jonas, you will never make a deal with her. I, I start shaking the seat again. No! He's gonna be sick. Don't do that. I, I was well, taught you shouldn't shake babies, learn. so I don't... <laughs> it's also hurting the beetle. Oh, you're right. I'm don't sorry, beetle. That. Yeah. Bailey. Jonas, are you... This is gonna sound really weird, but are you trying to protect her? Or are you trying to protect us? I'm not trying to protect her. And to be honest, I'm trying to protect me here. If, okay. it, if you're going to sound weird, I'm going to sound weird as well. And I think that that is our best chance. I'm not, I'm not the one to put my own pride and stuff in the way here. I want, I want to see how can I get to where we can go back to living in Littlebrook again. Don't you see we can't go back to living in Littlebrook as long as she's alive? As long as she's there, we have no idea what little loophole she'll put in whatever contract we make with her. We don't know if the ritual will work or what way around it there will be. As sure. long as she exists, there isn't a normal. But, but we can we cannot stop that. We cannot stop her from existing. Really hard to make sure one of her kind stays dead. Yeah. Even if you can manage to do it in the first place, which I'm kind of doubt. I the still best... think... Let... Mm. You're right, but I've done it once before. But it came back. Succession got passed down. Nate, yeah. once you managed to deal with them, I, I get that. You know what happened with me and my keeper? At one point, she led a whole group of people think that they were about to bring her down. It took them the better part of an hour just to wear down her defenses. And the power I have to heal now is a shadow of the power I used to have. 
So she just called me over. I healed her up. And even a small amount of blood was enabled to just clean all of her wounds like it never existed. So if you want to talk about making it permanent, you might not even be able to make the wounds you put on her now last. And let's see what that meteor is made out of. It's but anything also, near that redstone stuff? Then we can go I reckon visit, we have a shot. We can go and visit Little Big Tim and all that and try to find ways to kill her. But I, I, I am not convinced that's going to work. And then we're not going to succeed in either way. But there is something Matthew said. He said that if they come to our world, they are weakened. Yeah, sure. They're weakened and we might be able to perhaps drive her off and then just piss her off. And she might send the allies or she might send her other changelings and she might come back in another guise or something. A weakened tank is still a tank. Yeah, and that is the like being being worried about her coming back is the, the last thing that I that I want her like to have made her an enemy that's out to get us that has a vengeance against us. You've already done that. No. We What's the baby. Yeah. She wants to complete the contract that she made with Blackbird. Gladly. And, and, and Blackbird made a contract, we, I assume. Now she wants to get that contract fulfilled. She has put our asses on the line. And I don't see why we should step in between, really. Or, no, I do see why we should step in between. But I, but I also see a reason why not to we, we should at least try i mean we traveled all that way to get answers from scrimner like that was the whole point and we got info and we can't reject the information before we even try it but trying and failing is gonna hurt us uh we're gonna get hurt either way there's 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 no way out of this where uh, everybody's all happy and, and snuggled in and bef the before that doesn't exist anymore. We, we get to choose, uh, I guess, which way we get hurt and we can make it mean something. Make it mean what? That we tried. She She's expecting us just to, to roll over because that's all we did. That's all we did when we were there because we didn't have a choice. Then again, we're just... Our all our desires is centered around her. I don't want to center my desires around her and what she will think and what she will do. I will decide I want our desires to center between me, between, around us. The instead. only desire I have around her is that I hate her. Yeah. And that would be cool, but at least go away. And and all you can talk about is what you want to do with her. You're yeah. you're you're centering everything around her. Yeah. Forget, try try yeah. to forget her. No, I I really hate her, and uh, I kind of like just no. uh, I kind of well if I can't punch her because I can't punch her, um, so I'm gonna try to like punch her with actions. And and do you think she didn't ex wouldn't expect her that she would? <laughs> I don't understand her ever. No, so then you're just focusing all your attention around her and maybe how to outsmart her and if i lose either way then um i would rather uh like really you know it kind of uh trouble her more than just giving her a baby and the town and us and everything maybe i can wreck one of the things she wants before she takes everything even if it's me well i don't want to wreck me oh I've, that's if... okay i'll wreck me you're but fine then what's keeping you here What's keeping me here is all the things that I left behind that I still want to do, that I still want to achieve. I don't want to go back there. I don't mean back there. I mean, you can leave Littlebrook. All my life is, all I want to do right now is in Littlebrook. I'm in the oh. same boat, but Littlebrook can't go back to normal. There won't ever be a normal as long as, well, there'll never be a normal again. But there won't be a normal, there especially won't be a normal as long as she's 
still breathing, I guess you could say, if if they breathe. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. But what then what kind of a deal do you suggest we do then? Give her the baby, promise her, make her promise never to come back to Little Brook. Or send anyone like word it more specifically. We don't have any power over her. She's already owed the baby. We can't staple something onto that, right? We we can Okay, so here is my plan. No, not plan. Idea. We muster all the forces we can we can get. Everyone. And then when we have everyone here and she hopefully sees that this might be an inconvenience. That's what we want, right? We want to kind of inconvenience her. We say, okay, we will give you, we will help you get the baby. We'll let you take the baby. Otherwise, we will not. If you promise not to come back, not to send anyone here again, not to ever bother to, we need to word it more carefully, but you get what I'm saying. And if she say, if she accepts, great. If she doesn't accept, well, then I guess we have our plan B there where we just try to wreck all her shit. I have absolutely zero intention of letting her take that baby. Any plan that involves her taking that baby, I will have no part of. Plus, Mrs. Blackbird and all of her confederates will oppose you violently. That, that child did not make that decision. That's true. Yeah. There is one other problem. Whatever kind of deal you make out here is not going to be as sealed as if you make it in the hedge. So you got to make the deal in the hedge. But if she's in the hedge, she's got more power than she does than she's here. Isn't make, that how it you, works? You make deals outside the hedge, can't you? You can? I think so. I think so. Yes. That's good? Yes, you can. You're all, every creature bound to Fae in some way, you, the true Fae, Hobgoblins, will be affected even in your realm by these contracts. Awesome. I say, let's get the media right and then argue while we are shoveling out the media right. Agreed. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we meet with the others first? What if we show up with the media right? Yeah, that'll kind of help our case. Yeah, we'll just like thunk it down real dramatically. <laughs> and hurt. Let's do it. Right. We could also take Matthew hostage, if you want to call it that, to help us explore whether our powers and the stuff that we can do can be deepened and fortified and expanded in some way. We could probably just ask him too, though. I yeah, I don't just think we wanted to... to take his time. I didn't really mean hostage. I'm trying oh, this oh, synonym. Okay. Idioms. I'm sorry. You're very intense sometimes, Tide. I apologize. I understand now. I mean, if you really didn't want to. Oh no, no okay. okay. I feel like he's like, I'm totally down with taking him hostage. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. You don't? No, he looks like he'd burn easily. <laughs> because he looks like he's. Is that how you judge burn? the value of people, Flicker? Yeah, I mean, you're a good person because I don't think I could light you on fire. I could melt you, maybe, but. We all need to know how burnable Flicker thinks we are. At some oh, point. I have a chart. <laughs> <laughs> but I um, expected no less. As you, um, I, I mean, I just want to yeah, yes. one, yes, one last thing. Uh, we, I. I won't do these these things without if I don't have you behind me. I I still think still think this is the best shot we got. But if you don't if you veto it, Lars, even if I wanted to, I I couldn't do it. I so I guess I guess we'll find another way then. I, Unfortunately. I believe in you, Jonas, if, if that helps any. I think I, that if you really think that that's the only way and that's our best choice, 
I will stand behind you. But I do want to look into other things as well. Yeah. Let's do that. Thank you, Ty. And I don't know where we sit in the car, but Jonas just like reaches over to Ty and holds her shoulder for a bit. Their shoulder. Yeah. Ted like takes the hand and like keeps it a bit. Okay. And as you continue traveling with your car, I think it's a perfect place to end tonight's session. We are a little over time, but that's fine. Tension is building. The yeah. last day is approaching. And honestly, there are so many ways this could turn out. And uh, I'm sure you're not at all worried about what's going to happen. No. Nah, not uh, at all. Not at all. <laughs> uh, we will. We, the I only see happy endings. Yes, of course. In this scenario. We will see what happens in the next week. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, if everything allows for it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us and watching this. And. Thank you again to my amazing players. I love running a game with you guys. You really make my Thursday evening. I'm a little bit tired, as you can probably tell, but I had a lot of fun and uh, uh, can't wait for next Thursday. Yeah. 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 Thank until... you. Yeah. Bye bye, people. Thank Thanks you. for watching. Bye bye. And until then, bye take bye. care of yourselves. Be careful. Wash Be safe. Wash your hands. Now more than ever. Good night. Or. Good afternoon. Good Bye. Good. <laughs> Good night in Sweden. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.